So this is my personal oracle and I have probably over 150 different types and variations of crystals in here. Um, your crystal oracle does not need to be this massive. Um, I would recommend no less than nine. Uh, probably nine to 24 is a good happy medium uh, to start with and then you can grow your oracle if you wish. Um, and not all of the crystals in this tray I actually use for my oracle. Um, some of these smaller and larger pieces in the back I kind of just have in there. So um, I have one of a whole lot of different kinds of crystals. It's really these more tumbled, smaller crystals. I don't really use the this one at all. The unit. And typically I draw a crystal daily. Um, you can do it either weekly or daily or monthly even if you want. I just do it daily um, to kind of get a feel of what I need for that day. And I have this uh, necklace here. It's a macrame that opens and closes. So what I do is I'll pick whatever crystal that draw I'm drawn to for that day and I will place it in the net here and close it. And I actually wear this underneath my shirt so I don't really display them at all. Um, this is kind of like my personal crystal for the day. I usually also wear crystal jewelry as well. Um, the larger pieces I might stick in my bra because they don't necessarily will they won't necessarily fit in this. Um, but that's what I do. Uh, there are different ways that you can uh, pick your oracle for the day, and that's really going to depend on your preference. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and place this off to the side because I'm going to kind of demonstrate with a smaller oracle. Um, this is just a small set that I put together. Uh, again, probably you wouldn't want to go any less than nine crystals of good different varieties. Um, this one I have some rhodonite, I have a howlite, red jasper, a jade, rose quartz, amazonite, a amethyst, green aventurine, this is a Labradorite, a Tree Agate, a Sodalite, Carnelian, Citrine, and a Moss Agate. So like I said, there's a few different ways that you can go about picking your Oracle for the day. The first way to do it would be to have some sort of bag that you can't see into and you would place your crystals into the bag and you can either shake it up like this or just kind of like shuffle them around in the bag like this and then obviously, whoops, Carnelian wants to be my crystal today. You would just reach into the bag without looking, feel around until you feel like you've got the right crystal and pull it out. Hey, look at that. that obviously is gonna be my crystal for today. I haven't picked one yet today, so Carnelian apparently wants to be with me today. Um, some other ways that you can choose your Oracle crystal would be to have them in a display, kind of like how I do. This is how I would do it um, usually, is I would come out in the morning and then I just look at them and kind of whatever pops up at you, whatever you're drawn to um, or your intuition pulls, draws you towards would be your crystal for that day. So I would just look at it and say uh, the Amazonite popped out at me that day first. That's like what my eye was drawn to first. That would be the crystal that I would carry around for that day. So that's another way uh, you can choose your oracle is just by following your intuition and whatever you're first drawn to. Another way that you can choose your oracle for the day would be to ask your spirit guides or angels. And there's really two ways that you could ask them. 
Um, if you're familiar with what player abilities um, you naturally possess, you could use those to ask them. So if you have a clairvoyance, you might have a, a picture of an, a specific type of crystal in your head. That'd be the crystal that you would take for that day. Or if you have clairaudience, you might hear the name of a crystal. And so that would be your crystal for the day. Or if you are not familiar with your natural clair abilities, you could use a pendulum. And typically what you would do, um, you could use the pendulum two different ways depending. If you're clairsentient like I am, usually I would, I would use the crystal above it. I'd ask my spirit guides what crystal most benefit me today. And I would feel the energy in my hand and the pull of, I'm actually, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually pulling right now. And then once it's over the crystal, it'll start circling saying that's my crystal for today. So clearly carnelian is my crystal for today. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. I didn't even really ask you, I was just demonstrating, but thank you very much for showing me my crystal for today. Obviously carnelian. Um, if you're not clear sentient and you can't feel the energy of the draw um, of the pendulum, you could set them out in a half circle. Something kind of like this. You do want them slightly spaced out. And then you would hold your pendulum in the center and ask it to swing towards your crystal of the day. You can tell it's swinging directly at the carnelian. So to confirm that, you would go over and whatever your yes is, it would say yes. That's another way that you can use your pendulum to ask your spirit guides and angels um, to determine what crystal is best for you that day. So those would be the ways that you would go about picking your oracle crystal for today. Apparently carnelian for me, so I will be holding on to this for today. Now, once you've decided what your crystal is for the day, whatever your oracle is for the day, then of course you want to decipher what exactly that means for you. So, I don't expect anyone really to memorize every single metaphysical property for every single crystal. So I. I always use a um, app or uh, a website that I go to whenever I decide what my crystal of the day is. I'll usually go look it up on a couple different sites. I use uh, the charmsoflight.com website and crystalvaults.com website and I can put links to those in the description below. Uh, probably my all-time favorite is um, the website thecitrinecircle.com. They have a website, but they've also created an app, and I have the app installed on my phone, and I use it daily. Um, I've tried a lot of different apps, and the Citrine Circle is by far the best app that I have found. It has a very wide list of different types of crystals. I love the format of the app. Um, it's got three different pages for each crystal. The first one will kind of tell you about where it came from and maybe a little bit about the history of its use. The second page will be like its geological stats. And then the third page will be its um, healing properties, uh, what zodiac sign or element it, it correlates with, what chakra it correlates with. So um, I love the Citrine Circle app. So I, I keep it on my phone, and so once I've decided what my oracle crystal of the day is, I will open that up and take a look at it. So for example, carnelian um, is good for helping you with the best life choices and following through with those choices. It's also great for creativity, specifically live performances, so like acting, dancing, um, singing, stuff like that, but also just creativity in general, which is perfect for a crystal craft witch. Um, it's also really good at banishing emotional negativity and anger, but that would be how you would use a crystal oracle. 
and just get insight into what kind of self-care you need to be um, focusing on for that day. And crystals are great. You would want to probably carry this around with you that day, wherever, whether it's in a necklace, whether it's in your pocket, in a bra, in your bag, just keeping it close to you so that way its vibrations can enter your vibrational field and help you heal and overcome whatever obstacles uh, you may be going through that day.